I know that when a community loses its only school, that community begins to feel itself withering away. And so Coralie has been at my door with some of her colleagues to say, we have to fix this problem with rural schools. Now, I can't um, make order the school district here to keep Kersley open or to keep um, park, Parkland open. But what I can try and do is everything that we can to encourage them to make sure those schools stay open. So what we've designed is a fund that will allow your school district to apply for the specific money that they need to keep those two schools open. They will be required to apply that money to those schools, but if they apply, we are going to be able to keep both of those schools operating. We're calling, it, we're calling it the Rural Education Enhancement Fund. We're starting off with $2.5 million. That it's going to mean that at least nine schools across the province that have been slated to close, including these two, are going to be able to stay open if districts choose to keep them open, and I think they will. And it's, we're also appointing Linda Larson from uh, Asoyus as our, uh, or from Oliver, I think, as our um, Parliamentary Secretary for Rural Education because we need a renewed focus on this.